Here are 20 hilarious moments with news reporters on live TV. Before we get started, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on to make sure you never miss a video. All right, let's get started. Some news segments are more interesting than others. So if you're not at work today or you're working from home, you may be wondering, what day is it? Todd has the answer for us. It's Monday. Salesmen will go to extremes to make a sale. This sponsored live TV segment didn't really go to plan, though. So you have a, you know, you have to get up in the wall, high ceiling, vault right. ceiling. Hey, listen, just walk right up. And I tell you, it's very safe, it's durable, and Girl, it's lightweight. scaring me. So really, <laughs> see, now it's locked in place, okay? So really, you say, oh God, Harold, are you okay? Actually, I didn't have it locked. You have to lock it. Once you lock it, you're okay. Puddles, just like looks, can be quite deceiving. This poor news reporter completely miscalculated the puddle's depth. After collecting a Man of the Match award, this football player shares a little too much. Thank you very much for, for, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my fans also, my wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, sorry to say, I'm so, I'm so sorry, my wife. During a segment on alligators, one of the anchors was made to hold one. Safe to say, it didn't go down too well. I'm a little closer. Do I'm gonna stay over here by Joni. Do they know each? Do they? No, hold him tight. Hold him tight. Hold him. Tight. I am. I am. Hold him tight. I am. I am. Right. I am. You got him. I am. Oh, it's okay. All right. Ah, right, Joni, you got him. <laughs> Sometimes embarrassing moments happen and we try to just play it off cool. Matt, are you a Rick Astley fan? Uh, not a massive one. <gasps> but I was oh, that was the wrong I'll thing to say. Around. He's listening well, and sorry. he's coming up in just a moment. I'll ask you again. Matt, are you a Rick Astley fan? Love Rick Astley. Best. <laughs> Grew up with him. <laughs> Great. He's, he's coming up. When reporting live, remaining calm and composed is vital. Well, for this guy, it didn't really go to plan. Is uh, uh, Treasuries, you all right? I'm passing out. Okay, are you okay? You want to hang on? I'm passing out. Okay. Why don't you, you want to sit down? Go on. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. You okay? Things got pretty heated when three Australian news reporters all turned up to the set wearing the same outfit. I need Julie to put a jacket on because we're all in white. I asked, her to, I asked her before we came on. Julie, you need to put a jacket on. Amber, if it's an issue, I can, I can get on yeah, out of here. It is an issue. Go and grab a jacket. I... Time now to head into the chat room. And joining me today is psychologist Sandy Ray in Melbourne. And There's a hard and fast rule for being a weather reporter. Never wear green. Well, it seems like this woman didn't get the memo. Conditions están fluctuando entre los 80 hasta los 90 grados. Es, eh, parece que tenemos un problema, me imagino con las luces, pero no se preocupen. Seguimos con el tiempo. Las temperaturas para hoy van a ser aproximadamente de, de 100, de 100. It seems like news stations are in competition for who can send their weatherman to the most brutal conditions. These winds are bad. Let's show you some video of even what, what we shot early. More often than not, news reporters aren't aware they're actually live, and it can get pretty embarrassing. I'm so pale. You're on it. Today, snow is crippling much of the Washington. <gasps> now to sport with Meredith Sheen. My hips don't lie. Oh. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Am I having a tease? <laughs> I did. I'm sorry, I didn't see that coming. After a mistake from the broadcasting company led to confusion, this reporter was not having it. Actually, this reporter Christine Pay is at the scene with what we know. Apparently, we don't have that story. We're right now, astronomers at the University of Houston. investigation in Southwest Albuquerque. You can see right here. Being interviewed on live TV can be pretty nerve-wracking. Just ask this woman who made a pretty hilarious mistake. Um, first and last names, please. Uh, Erica O'Donnell. And can you spell first and last? F-I-R-S-T-L-A-S-T. -S <laughs> <laughs> I meant your first and last name. Uh... 
some news segments are more interesting than others. Just ask this news reporter that literally fell asleep on live TV. 50. Wow. What do you think of that? When's the last time that happened? Well, we hit 50 in February, remember? Oh, well, well we then I guess it wasn't that long ago. We had stretch there where we melted Hello? half of our ice. You you made Perkins fall asleep. No, 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 no. no I had nothing, no reflection on Sven. I was just like, I was just, I'm normally, if, if, if we're jumping forward, that means... Cameramen do a lot of work behind the scenes, sometimes even spending hours getting into position for the perfect shot. Safe to say, this one didn't really go to plan. This kid is a little concerned with Santa's antics. Santa Claus has the right idea to visit people once a year. I think I want to visit you guys more than once a year. So what do you think about holiday happenings? You're a guy, you got good style, what do you think about it? Um, I think that it's kind of wrong that Santa looks at me whenever I'm sleeping in my underwear. Oh me, well, thank goodness you're always good all year long, right? And I know Miss September is always good as well. The first day of school can be pretty stressful for some kids. Well, when a news reporter interviewed a kid on his first day, he couldn't hold back his emotion. Are you going to miss your mom? No. No? <laughs> News reporters travel the world in search of a good story and often encounter many obstacles. Well, this woman couldn't seem to handle the bugs in the area. <laughs> I... Okay. <sighs> no. Yes, please. Okay. A British reporter found out the hard way that shooting a segment over a busy wet road isn't the smartest idea. Thousands have been built here over the Hamilton, Janella Hamilton, sorry. Thank you, Janella. Janella Hamilton reporting live for us this morning. Seems like fainting happens relatively often on live TV. 70s inspired. Okay, I see that. The 70s look right there. I can see that. We've got a little bit of high heel issues, which happens sometimes. When reporting a story about a goat, the co-host was trying too hard to make the goat puns work, making it pretty awkward for the host. You and I are supposed to be the only goats from Kentucky, the only greatest of all time. Is there another one trying there to There is on another. That? There is a goat that's become a legend in Kentucky. Locals say oh he's gosh. been on the run from the law for years. Residents have nicknamed him Houdini, as in, now you see him, now you don't. Ha ha. If you ever feel embarrassed, just remember this clip of former President George Bush making a fool of himself on live TV. You then look for a way out. <laughs> and this moment will doubtless be replayed endlessly on comedy shows, both here and in America. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Which one of these news mess-ups was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications on to make sure you never miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.